Hello, and welcome to Robots Explained. My name is Bailey, and today we're going to be talking about how to crimp wide molar ferrules. Let's get started. These ferrules come in three different sizes. Orange for 20 gauge, white for 18 gauge, and red for 16 gauge. Today we will demonstrate with the 18 gauge ferrule. But first, let's talk about how to crimp these. First, you will need to strip your 18 gauge wire back about 3 8 of an inch using your pair of wire strippers. You may need to strip off more or less to ensure that the tip of the wire is flush with the end of the wide molar ferrule. Once you have your wire properly placed into the ferrule, it is now time to crimp. This tool was designed exclusively for crimping the wide molar ferrules. All you need to do is take your wire and insert the ferrule into the connector, then squeeze down completely. Double check that you crimped the ferrule properly by pulling on the ferrule to make sure that it does not come loose. If it does, you will need to start over. It is important that you have these ferrules crimped correctly as they are used on critical components in your robot, such as your power distribution board. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to check out robotsexplained.com for more information and videos on topics like this one.